The, the biggest change we're making is with regard to the loan programs. In prior years at JMU, students would use basically lending institutions to get a, a federal student loan. Um, lending institutions being things like banks or, or credit unions, or there are some entities that are just student loan lenders and that's all they do. Um, and parents would use them as well for the Parent PLUS loan. So what you'd be dealing with is kind of a myriad of partners that would be involved. Because to do that, you have banks and lending institutions, then there's oftentimes a servicer involved who could perform any number of functions or duties along with the, the lender, depending on what the relationship is. And then there's a third party involved, which is a guarantee agency. The guarantee agency's primary responsibility has been to ensure the lender, so if you, the student, goes in default, the lender gets their money. But even with that, depending on the relationship the guarantee agency has with the servicer or the bank, they could perform more processing functions versus just guarantee functions. It all depends on the relationship. And these three entities basically served under what's called the Federal Family Educational Loan Program, which we dub as FELP. So that's been the way loans have been secured by students and parents in prior years. The big change now is we're moving away from the FELP program. So what that means is students and parents who are getting loans, either Stafford loans or PLUS loans, would no longer use these lending institutions. We're now moving into something called the William D. Ford Direct Loan Program, which for short we call direct lending. And basically what that is, is that means the students and the parents have one source for their loan funds, and that's the federal government. The government is in essence the bank, the lending institution at that point in time.